Good day, everyone. My name is Peter van Eysen, a Principal Solution Consultant at Genesis for the South and East Africa subregion of the broader EMEA region. Today, I will be presenting Genesis Predictive Engagement and how our practical application of AI through machine learning can help businesses sell faster and more to their digital customers. My agenda for today is to tell you a little about Genesis and our vision. Then I will touch on some of the trends and challenges faced in the digital retail space, talk about a real world success story, and finally demonstrate a simple use case on how applied AI can have a positive impact on your sales to your digital customers. So who is Genesis? Genesis is more than a contact center software company. We pride ourselves in being a global leader in customer experience technology, enabling our customers to provide personalized connected moments to their customers through artificial intelligence, engagement channel orchestration, and workforce engagement. With a global network of more than 1,200 partners, 11,000 customers, and offices in over 100 countries worldwide, we are on hand to deliver amazing customer experiences wherever we are needed. Our geo-diverse employee base of 5,500 uh, plus employees gives us a global approach and allows us to offer solutions localized into 21 languages. Our employees have a strong balance of product developers, professional services, and customer care, and we invest in more than in more R and D than any other company in our space. Our customer base is wide and deep. We have expertise from working with core sectors like financial services and insurance businesses, and uh, business and consumer services, tech media, and telecoms. The list goes on, but it means that we can show deep domain experience and we speak the language of the industries we serve. Of the world's 100 most valuable brands, 62 use Genesis platforms and technology to deliver their vision of CX to their customers. These companies, along with the 11,000 other uh, uh, Genesis customers, are at the center of 70 billion interactions per year. And what we have learned from all these interactions is that customers want personalized experiences that are contextually relevant to them in the very moment they need it. And that's why experience as a service starts with people and personalized, contextually relevant experiences at the moment they need them. But what is experience as a service? Experience as a service is uh, our vision of an empathetic customer centric experience with a customer at the center and empathy being the core of any good relationship and good communications, showing the other party that you know them, that you care enough to learn about them and remember what they've shared with you in the past. We are using AI to leverage all of the customer and employee data, including historical third party in, and any behavioral data that has been shared from website visits or calls or interactions in the past. We're also engaging at the right moments across the entire customer experience from marketing, sales and customer care or services. So again, experience as a service is personalized, empathetic, customer-centric communications that demonstrates empathy in order to, to establish trust and which leads to loyalty by showing the customer that you know them. It's all about empathy across the entire customer life cycle from marketing to sales to support. To understand how this applies to the topic of my presentation, being how to sell more and faster to your digital customers, we need to take a quick look at the trends impacting digital sales. Firstly, Lost margins on retail assets and shopping cart abandonment. Companies are increasingly competing on price or cost and finding it hard to convert prospects, even if product interest is shown. The omni-channel convenience gap impacts this process by not, have, not being where the customers are, whether that be online or via voice channel, via social media, and when contact is made, having no context on the reason why the customer is reaching out. And as we've seen, supply uh, chain transformation is key in closing the fulfillment process in a satisfactory manner. And of course, the current global situation has disrupted the pre-pandemic status quo. So what are some of the challenges businesses face to counter these trends? There are many, but instead of attempting the impossible uh, in this short time, let's take a step back or up as it were to a 30,000 foot view. 
According to Statista, digital ad spending reached $209 billion in 2019 and had been projected to increase substantially in 2020. It would be interesting to see what that figure would be at the end of 2020. What's most striking is that 97% of that spend never converted, meaning that only 3% resulted in a conversion. Not a very good return on investment. So if we drop down a few thousand feet to understand how we can increase this ROI, the picture come, becomes slightly into focus or a bit more into focus. Over the last decade, we can see a steady increase of in cart abandonment across verticals. And according to sales cycle, 2018 was the worst at 75.6%. This equates to a significant amount of potential revenue or sales lost at that final hurdle, perhaps because no one was there to help them across that final hurdle. And if we descend a, a, another few thousand feet, we find that on top of a large percentage of prospects abandoning their buying intent or purpose at the final hurdle, businesses have a very short time available to them to influence their prospects buying intent. On average, less than six minutes. The brands listed in this graph are well-known international or overseas companies, mainly Europe and North America. So if we take a look a little bit closer to home, we see very similar prospect behavior. If we exclude the outlier conga, the average time spent by prospects on the, these marketplaces is less than nine minutes on average. So what can we take away from these data points and observations? Businesses have a very short window of time to influence their prospects buying intent or decision, whether generated by marketing spend, returning customers, or even brand news unsourced prospects. Once these prospects have left your marketplace, the immediate opportunity is lost, negatively impacting the marketing spend ROI we touched on earlier. At Genesis, we have a solution for this problem called Genesis Predictive Engagement, powered by Genesis AI and delivered from Genesis Cloud. Our solution is to help you through a practical application of AI to leverage customer journey data and engagement technology to firstly analyze and qualify the visitor's buying intent through real-time analysis of their activities, then to predict their buying interest to determine the right offer or the most appropriate offer or action. Then to identify the perfect moment and the perfect channel to engage that prospect on. We don't need to engage them at the beginning of the journey. Engage them at the time that they need help, that final hurdle. And of course, very importantly, to engage the prospect with the best fit resource. This is the missing piece to the puzzle. Being able to not just see the customer journey, perhaps using uh, analytical products like Google Analytics at this point in time, where you get real-time information. But the missing piece is that engagement capability at the time that matters most. And of course, empower that resource when they are connected with the right context and insight into the customer's journey and reason for engagement, current and past. Ultimately, this leads to increased conversions and better outcomes for both the business and the customer and it enables you to sell more and faster to your digital customer. We have many customer stories that show success, but one applicable to our region of the world and recognizable in the travel industry specifically is Ethiopian Airlines. Here is a quote from their CIO. Genesis Predictive Engagement is enabling us to capture significantly more window shoppers on our website. Conversion rates rose by 14% in the first two weeks and by 49% at the six week stage and we've only really scratched the surface of what the tool can do. The result of the recent case study revealed several positive impacts or outcomes they had seen from making use of Genesis Cloud technology for their customer experience operations as well as workforce engagement management such as 25% increase in service levels, 60% faster call response time and 70% uh, fewer abandoned calls. But with the focus on the theme of this presentation, selling more to your digital customer, driven by Genesis Predictive Engagement, two outcomes stand out. These being 49% increase in website sales conversions, conversations, and 72% reduction in website dwell time. Feel free to read the full customer story or case study at the URL on display. But to sum it up in a single paragraph, Genesis technology enabled Ethiopian airlines to provide an effective pandemic response without adding headcount, 
whilst increasing sales and enhancing customer experience. To give you a quick look at Genesis Predictive Engagement in action, I have to introduce you to our protagonist. This is Peter. He is a proud new homeowner and existing customer of GSOL, a company specializing in solar solutions. Peter purchased the solar geyser from GSOL before, but due to the continued rising cost of electricity, Peter is looking for more ways to save on his monthly electricity bill. He has two primary decision drivers. The price has to be right, and the solution has to provide immediate and future benefits. So, due to Peter browsing the internet, as we all do, searching for the right solution, he has been added to a GSOL marketing campaign in the form of a newsletter aimed at existing customers. One day, he receives an email. Peter looks at this new mail and he sees that it is GSOL newsletter from 2019. And he clicks into this, and this is a typical way that marketing campaigns are run. So that he receives a marketing campaign email and showing interest because he's looking for uh, a new solution um, to save electricity or save cost. He clicks into that newsletter. Now, what's really important here is as part of that newsletter and in normal marketing ways, uh, uh, marketing operations, those campaigns are normally tied to what is called UTA parameters. And it really just identifies um, where the, the journey is coming from or where the person on the journey is coming from. And Peter goes and he looks at the site and he goes and he's interested in getting started perhaps and having a look at what is available at GSOL. Um, and being a returning customer, he goes and he logs in because he purchased the Casola Giza before, he still has a profile. Now, this is all well and good, but what we need to have is look and see under the hood what Genesis Predictive Engagement is doing. So if I take this and slide this back a little bit, and on the right hand side, we can see Genesis Cloud and we can see the session that Peter or that journey that Peter's on at the moment. So first of all, we can see he's gone to the maintenance, he went to login, and we can see that he logged in. So keep an eye as we now as he now navigates across the site. So Peter's looking for a solution. He's got a solar geyser, geyser um, and he's looking for something to, you know, perhaps the solar panels and batteries. So he goes to the residential area. Now, very important on the right-hand side, you can see in real time as the journey is updating. We can also see additional information like who the person is, what the device they're browsing from, perhaps the location even that they're browsing from as well. So you can see from Centuria. At the bottom, we can see the segmentation applied. Um, so this is directly tied back to the UTM parameters, just segment uh, uh, applying segmentation to the journey and uh, also a uh, marketing attribution with regards to the GSOL newsletter. And then at the bottom, this is really where we can see in real time what's happening from the AI perspective. So we have two specific outcomes defined. So when we, de when we deploy the solution on your website, you can define what other outcomes you want to drive, whether that be a sale of a product, submission of a loan form, or a, requesting a quote, um, getting information, logging a ticket, whatever that outcome may be. And once you have that deployed, predictive engagement starts tracking every single journey and what the probability of that journey is of reaching the desired outcome that you've defined. Now, because I'm clicking into the residential area, my probability of me doing something on the residential side of things is increasing just based on all the journeys taken before. And as Peter now goes ahead and he looks at a solution perhaps for his home, he fills in the form and he says, yes, I am a homeowner. And then now we segment, uh, segment him according to that. So we now understand that he is a homeowner and he fills in his home address and he specifies some information that we require. And so as we're carrying along, we're segmenting and categorizing and understanding what he's doing, and also capturing the values um, that we're retrieving from him from that website. And now he's looking at this and it seems really great, but remember he's looking for something that might not, you know, is not as heavy on the pocket. Um, he's looking for something that's cost effective. On the right hand side, you'll see because he hasn't taken an action at this point in time, it seems that he's stuck. And therefore, we've predictive engagement has decided right, we need to try and engage him and try to shape his journey to try to convince him um, to go ahead with the purchase. So he gets this offer also generated from Genesis predictive engagement configured within Genesis Cloud. 
and he sees there's a tax credit offer and that seems interesting to him so he goes ahead and he wants to check it out well, what that does is we're now actively shaping his journey to try to influence his buying intent so now he's reading on this and it all seems really good um, even though the upfront payment is uh, uh, might be a little bit above his budget over time with a tax credit um, it will work out less than he was uh, prepared to spend so with that he then goes ahead and say okay great let me see what i can purchase so he goes to the utility side and he looks at all the products and perhaps he wants to first port of call add you know purchase batteries so now notice at the bottom because we've gone away from the residential side of things and we're now getting towards a product sale the probability of him being a residential um, heartbeat has now decreased substantially but the probability of him purchasing something is now increasing so he adds that to his cart and again we can see that the cart is being updated with the the product that's being added we also segmenting in and because there is a specific perhaps in the background a discount on this product and perhaps maybe the value and maybe because he's a returning customer we're applying a discount to this uh, uh to the product added to the cart he goes ahead and adds eight batteries and we're now at the final hurdle that final hurdle where we see such a big drop off um 75.6 percent in, in 2018 so all that Peter now needs to do is basically needs to fill in his card information and complete the purchase. And this is exactly where we can try and uh, influence his buying intent. So perhaps Peter is not too sure. $1,700 seems a little bit hefty, even with the tax credits that he's seen before. So he goes back and sees maybe there's another product that he can have a look at. And because I'm doing that, again, the probability of him now completing that purchase or reaching that outcome has decreased substantially. And because of that drop from almost 99% down to, let's say, 20%, we're now trying to engage. And you're seeing over here, we can see the cart's changed. We can see the cart was abandoned. And because of that, we're now offering engagement to him. So this is all that's been, it's been tracked in the back, background under the hood where predictive engagement is actually seeing what's happening. So now the engagement portion of things where we can actually engage with the customer. So we offering being engagement. Peter didn't know that he had a discount that applies. And therefore, because we have that information, we can customize this offer to uh, be relevant to why we're trying to grab him back. So we say, hey, there's a discount that applies for your selected product. Do you want to chat? And Peter decides to accept that information <clears throat> or that invitation. So he accepts the chat. And at first, remember when, I, when we mentioned about we can either engage with virtual and or with human, perhaps um, in the broader scheme of things, um, the value of this product is not that high. So we'll, we'll, we'll try to help him first with perhaps a chatbot. So Peter says, okay, great. So he's a little bit concerned that if he does purchase anything, um, you know, when will it arrive due to the shipping and, and the, uh, um, the fulfillment maybe being under pressure. So he goes and asks the bot, um, how long will my product go? And he asks the assistant what that uh, would be. And it's only three days, so that seems really good. But he's still not completely convinced. He doesn't understand how the discount might apply. So then he says, okay, let me escalate to an agent. And this is really where we differentiate ourselves uh, as Genesis in the market, is being able to do that connection from online um, journey tracking and also engaging to an agent when needed. And then he asks to speak to an agent. The agent, on the other hand, now gets that request and he answers that request. Let me just drag this a little bit better. Right. Now, first of all, to notice is the context. So the agent has a full context of what Peter was um, communicating with to the bot. So they can see that history. They can see the profile, any contact information, and also any other previous um, uh, interactions Peter has, might have had with the business. But very importantly, in this case, is the journey. The agent is immediately empowered with the full context that they need in order to close that sale or complete that buyer's um, or influence that buying intent. So if I drag this a little bit bigger, we can see the current web chat. And now what we can see is that journey. And if I make that a little bit larger, just to give you an idea. Right. So the agent is completely empowered. They can see exactly what was viewed, which pages were 
we hit, they can see the segmentation. So it came in from the newsletter. We can see he's a homeowner. We also see the discount being applied. We can see the product being added to the cart. We can see that he abandoned checkout. And we also applied another, a larger discount. And then when we offered the chat over here and uh, they accepted the chat. So the agent is immediately in part and he doesn't have to ask the same questions over and over again. He can quickly jump in and say, hi, Peter, you actually have 100 discount for those batteries. Well, looking at if you might remember your purchase. And Peter being very happy of that goes ahead and indicates in the positive that he definitely wants to make great. Well, order the product. So in that, so from a journey, getting to the website, shaping his journey um, towards uh, uh, the tax credit that he didn't know that he could get, and then from there to the batteries, and then adding that to the cart, and then at the final hurdle, not taking that jump. And because he didn't take the jump, we engaged him first with the chatbot and the AI on that side to get his first question. And then secondly, when we connected him to the agent, the agent had the full context of the whole conversation that he'd had with the bot. And they also had the context of the full journey they had on the website and any other prior, prior engagements that he might have had, informing the agent to be able to show empathy and getting that loyalty and trust from the customer and ultimately making the sale versus where we might have lost it if there hadn't been somebody there to help them across that final hurdle. Today we touched on only a few components of the customer and employee journey that are enhanced by practical applications of AI. The first being Genesis predictive engagement and the second being chatbot orchestration. Customers try to connect with your brand in various ways, no matter the channel. They expect to receive service that's focused, efficient, and tailored to their personal needs. AI-powered chatbots and voice bots can streamline customer journeys by providing a conversational experience, automating basic customer requests, and directing customers in the right direction. Chatbots and voice bots can directly enhance the overall customer experience. If we look at employee performance, sometimes improving your customer experience is as simple as having the right people in the right positions at the right time. With AI, you can analyze every speech and text interaction with customers to identify agent skills, knowledge, and behaviors. Then you can apply this information to build employee profiles that ensure every customer interaction and situation is rooted to the right agent. Additionally, you can use these insights to identify top performers and coaching opportunities. Call volume and customer demand can change at a moment's notice. But with the right AI-powered forecasting and scheduling capabilities, you can scale to meet fluctuating demand. With the right skill sets and support available, employee satisfaction and ability to execute their roles will increase. With happy agents, you can rest assured that the support your customers receive will improve. Long wait times, complicated routing procedures, and repetitive questions can all have a negative effect on the customer experience. Make the best use of your customer's time by getting them to the right agent or resource as quickly and efficiently as possible. Predictive routing capabilities can identify a customer's need and intelligently direct the customer to the right agent to achieve expected outcomes. Providing exemplary customer experiences require that you have access to the right information in the right moment. Using AI technologies to monitor conversations between agents and consumers let you proactively provide real-time insights, recommendations, and next best actions as needed. With this in-the-moment support, agents can provide better service and reach customer resolutions faster. Every interaction a customer has with your brand is an opportunity to learn and grow. By analyzing recorded conversations for key events and language, you can identify customer consumer trends, agent performance, sales opportunities, and more. You can turn these insights into actionable items that will improve both customer 
and employee experiences and ultimately drive your bottom line. All of these components, powered by Genesis AI and delivered by Genesis Cloud, can assist you in reaching your desired business outcomes. Thank you for your time and the opportunity to show you how Genesis Predictive Engagement, delivered from Genesis Cloud, can help you sell more and faster to your digital customers. Meet me in the speaker lounge for any additional questions you may have, and remember to visit genesis.com for more information. Thank you.